well, let's get into it. So you've kind of, let's say you've set your goals, you know, you've gone, you reverse engineered them. You've got, so you want to create that, I guess that GPS. And so this is something that we super important. If we don't know where we're going, how we know where we're going to get there? How do we know when we're going to get there? You know, it's like saying you want to go from Melbourne to Cairns. Like I always speak to say my analogy story. I say from Melbourne to Cairns, if you want to go to, you got to plan that out. You got to get a GPS. You got to make sure you you write it on a map where you're going to stop for how long, how many days, where you're going to refuel, or and maybe there's going to be some detours. Maybe you're going to stop off for places a lot longer. Maybe you're going to go inland a little bit more instead of going up the coastline or whatever it may be. But you need that plan to know how to get there. Mm-hmm. So we've got to set the right goals. And this is super important, which comes down to your core values. Now, like Adrian said before at the beginning, 92% of people that set goals in today's society do not achieve those goals, do not follow through. And it's because these goals do not align with your values. There's no point putting a goal and saying, I want a yacht just because you want a yacht and you have no you know, ambition or no desire to want a yacht. If it doesn't align with you, if you truly have always wanted a yacht and it's because you maybe you want to go traveling around the, you know, the coastal line of Australia or whatever it may be, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying to think big, but I'm just saying if you're just saying things and you're just putting a whole bucket list of all these you know, materialistic goods that do not align with you, you're not going to achieve that. But if you have something that aligns with your heart and when you think about it, it gives you an emotional attachment and it makes you want to drive to achieve that goal, then that's a different story. So you've got to set these goals that have, you know, that, you know, uh, uh, embedded to your core values. Okay. Now, once you've done that, you're, you've got to have a vision. Okay. And that vision starts with a why. So yeah. how are you going to keep on track? Why do you want this goal? Why do you want to achieve this goal? And that's something that you have to think deep. Now, I like to do this for my really, really big goals that I, you know, I really want in life. I really sit there and I say, why do I want this? And sometimes there's going to be a paragraph there of why I want this. And that why is what's going to push you. It can be why do you want to invest in property and have an X amount of passive income and you've got your goal there. Maybe it's you want a $5 million property portfolio for $100,000 of passive income and I want to achieve this in the next, say, 25 years. I want to be able to – and with that, that's going to, I guess, give you more freedom. But why do you want that? And maybe that why can be because maybe my family or my parents grew up in hardship. We didn't have financial stability and I don't want to give my family, I don't want my family to go through the same situation as I did as a kid. There was nothing wrong with that, but I didn't want them to go, I didn't want to go through life like struggling and not be able to put my kids through education and give them the curriculum activities that I've always, that that they want to do when they're kids. So these things, and those emotional attachments will start to drive you. When you start to put other people towards that and it's family and friends and people that are close to you, and that things that can help other people, that's what's going to drive you. So that why has to be attached, okay? And this is what 99, 92% of people do not do when they, you know, set goals. And yeah. the next thing I want to touch on there is big goals. Set big goals. We don't set big goals. We set small achievable goals. And this is why we want to not follow through because if we know we're going to achieve that goal, it's not a goal. So you've got to make sure if you know you're going to buy a property or two this year and you know you're going to do that because it's achievable, that's not thinking big. I'm talking about like if you know, if you think, okay, if I want to own a $10 million property portfolio and you're thinking to yourself, how the hell am I going to do that? But you know it's it's doable because it's not unrealistic because you're not saying I want a $100,000 property portfolio. I want a $10 million property portfolio property to portfolio, which I think it's very doable for every single person in Australia. doesn't matter what you know income you're in because everything can change in life. Anything can change. So if you think that big, a bit bigger, you're going to be able to, it's going to scare you, but it's going to be able to give you that drive because if you, even if you do fail and you're close, because there's a statistic that 9%, 9% of people that set big goals fail, 9% of them. And now if you fail, if you fail, but your expect, if your expectations are here, and you set a goal here, your expectations, and you achieve that. Really, there's no fulfillment in that. But if you have a goal and you set it up here, okay, and that's above your expectations. Now, if you achieve, try to achieve a goal, you just fall short. You, you're, you're already achieved greater than what your expectations are. 